Faber Salvi is, it's a product made by Sulky. It also goes by the name Stick and Stitch with different packaging. So it's the exact same thing, Get whatever one is cheaper. It comes in a roll like this, or you can also buy it in flat sheets. It says that it's printable, but I like to actually just trace my pattern with my friction pens. I just know that way if the ink happens to run or leak onto my project that I can just go over it with a blow dryer and that the ink will disappear. I don't like to use Faber-Salvi for everything. I just use it for times when the fabric is either too dark to trace through or it's a bag like this that would be hard to kind of like stick my light table in. This is a bigger bag, so I could do it if I wanted to, but the fabric would be too dark to trace through. This one is light enough. However, I would not be able to stick a light table through there to trace on it. Another time that I will use Fabrisalvi is for when I'm making something very small and very detailed, and I need to be able to see all of those lines very clearly. So I will use it on all of my embroidery jewelry just because those designs are so small that using the Fabrisalvi helps me see my stitches. You can't use it on anything that can't be soaked in water, so make sure to be aware of that. And also, I would recommend if you are using Faber-Salvi that you do pre-wash and shrink your fabric before using it because it's going to be going in water. So take your roll or your sheet of Faber-Salvi and cut out a piece that is going to be bigger than the design that you're doing. Turn on your light table or tape the pattern up into a sunny window. The Faber-Salvi will have a paper side and then a more fabric feeling side. You want to put it paper side down on top of your pattern. So you're going to be drawing on the fabric side. Go ahead and trace over your pattern and I'm using my friction pen. Once you have your design traced, you will peel off the paper backing. And you're left with a sort of transparent sticker that kind of feels like fabric. So go ahead and take your base fabric that you're going to be embroidering on. Stick your design where you want it to be and then rub it down to make sure that it adheres. Then you can just hoop up your design just like you normally would. And then stitch through the fabric and the Faber-Salvi to create your design. Once you've finished your stitching, take the design out of the hoop, peel up the edges, if you can, of the Faber-Salvi. You wanna cut around the design as close as you can to just get rid of the, the excess before you do the rinsing. Um, and then what you wanna do, and I actually like to do this usually at my sink in some warm running water to get rid of the excess. You're gonna soak your piece in water and then you can just leave it like that, but I like to help it along a little bit and kind of rub the Fabrisalvi away. And that's when I'll have like the running water going over it also. And you can see it's already disappearing. So once you've gotten that good and soaked and all of the Faber-Salvi looks like it's disappeared, you can kind of squeeze out the ends a little bit of the fabric, especially if you have a lot of extra. Just be careful with your design. And then what I like to do is take a couple sheets of paper towel or you could even just use a kitchen towel and put this on the kitchen counter and then put another couple sheets of towel or paper towel on the top and just kind of press down on a little bit to get out some of the extra water and then I'll put it on a clean towel to dry. You could also hang it up if you wanted to to dry. And something else that I also wanted to mention for woven wheel flowers or anything dimensional you need to be extra special careful with washing those. I notice that they'll sometimes get a little flat and so then I'll make sure to go back before I lay it flat to dry I'll take a little needle and kind of move it around a little bit to get it back to the shape that it's supposed to be in before I let it dry. 
So that is how you would transfer an embroidery using Silky Fabrisalvi. I hope this Fabrisalvi tutorial was helpful. This is definitely something that you're going to want to have in your embroidery arsenal. If you have any questions at all, leave them in the comments section below and I will do my best to answer them. Make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a video and head over to my blog for free embroidery patterns and more fun craft ideas.